this is the HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! Let's go pick up that water flying cloth. But the path is fraught with danger! Danger, danger, danger! We gotta head back to Toon, but since I've opened up the water gate, we now have a much easier way of getting over to Toon. So I want to show you that path. Besides, we're gonna have to go back there again later. We can't save there or anything like that. No, that would be too easy. They don't even let you save there in the Game Boy Color version, do they? I forget. Well, anyway, we gotta head back on up there. Apparently, it took Don Mahoney more than one day to, uh, uh, what, to, uh, weave the water flying cloth. No, no, actually, I was just busy yesterday. I didn't have time to record another episode. Oh, well. Sorry, viewers. Sorry it took two days when I said it was only going to take me one to get the water flying cloth. Oh, well. But anyway, now we can go right over here. Yeah, you see, it was blocked by the desert before. Couldn't get through there. But now we can. There's the Tower of the Moon to the south there, but it has really powerful enemies. We, we don't want to go there quite yet. Holy crap, Himabangos! Nuts. Um, um, Perry, uh, sleep on the Himabangos. Holy cow, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I uh, got them to sleep. Whoa, they almost took her out. They're still asleep, right? The Hibabangos? I gotta keep track of the messages better. Yeah, thank you for attacking the same one. That's great. Whew. Pretty lucky there with those Hibabangos. Holy cow. Um, sure, why not? Let's go for an Inferno. What's the worst that could possibly happen? But yeah, that's the way to deal with Hibabangos. They're like the baboons, except they can get critical hits. Uh, for some reason, when an enemy gets a critical hit on you, they call it a heroic strike. I don't know why. You got me on that one, viewers. But anyway, take these guys out. There we go. Yeah, that's the Staff of Thunder. Uh, you use it as an item, just like I was doing there. It casts Inferno, so for free, too. So that's pretty nice. All right, we made it. Well, at least I showed off the Hibabangos. I wasn't even... I was planning on like, oh, well, I guess I didn't meet up with them. So, well, I guess I can't show them off, but I did. Whew. Getting pretty lucky on some of those hard encounters. Believe me, if you don't know what you're doing, they will kill you. What do you mean? The Prince of Kanak can equip it. But anyway, for... Where the hell is it? Oh, they just gave it straight to her. Ah, huh, well, there we go. Okay, well, let's see how the water flying cloth works on here. Holy cow, look at that. Nice thing about the water flying cloth is that it cuts all fire damage by 50%. So that includes uh, fire breathing enemies. And, no, that's the end. So, I mean, yeah, like, uh, reduces, like, Infernos, Firebane, you name it. It's amazing for her. So, it's the best thing in the game for her. It's the best thing for the Prince of Kanak, but the way I'm playing, I'm only going to get uh, one of them. So, oh well. But there is another piece of armor that I do want to get. So, um, what I want to do is I want to actually get back to uh, Osterfair there. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. So, uh, I've already shown you how to get there from Baran, so I'll just meet you over at Osterfair then. Alright, we've made it back to Osterfair, and we fight eight metal slimes here. It's a fairly common battle around here, so that's pretty nice. This battle is the reason why I like level grinding around Osterfair, and also why I've got... Ow! Why I'm dying. No, it's actually why I've also got the uh, Dragon Killer, because it'll uh, barely allow me to kill metal slimes. So, there we go. You can usually kill about two or three metal slimes per battle, and you can get some pretty good experience while you're at it, too. Uh, there's some other really good enemies around here as well, so this is my favorite place to do some level grinding. Uh, basically, what I want to do is, you see we're at about 20,000 experience there. Between here and the Cave to Rome, we've got three major dungeons, and by the time I get to the Cave to Rome, I want to have about 100,000 experience. So we've got a shitload of level grinding to do. So basically what I've done is I've divided it up 
into 20,000 experience chunks. So like 20,000 times four level grinding sessions and then one of the three dungeons in between each of those. So that way it kind of spreads it out as much as possible or as much as I reasonably can. It's still gonna take a long time, but we really have no choice in order to be ready to go to Roan because that cave will kill you if you don't have those levels that I want to get. So basically what I want to do is pretty much get Orpheo up to level 18. That should get us pretty close to 40,000 experience. So I'm going to take care of that and then I'll, let's see, where do I want to meet you back? Uh, let's see. Well, I'll either meet you around here or Tantagal or somewhere around. I'll figure it out when I get there. Okay, I finished all the level grinding outside of Osterfair there. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, Orpheo at level 18. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to get him up to level 18 was not just for the experience, but also for uh, the spells that you can learn. Uh, most importantly, Firebane. It's basically, in this version of the game, it's the same thing as Infernos, but it hits all enemies. He also learned Step Guard, which if you cast it before stepping onto a barrier, you'll take no damage. So that's also pretty good. I wish I had that when I was back at Zahan, but apparently not. Uh, let's see. The princess. Uh, she learned antidote, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing particularly useful there. But now that I've done all that level grinding, I also want to buy some new armor. But I think my inventory is full, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's full. I want some fairy waters. I actually want an iron hook from someone for some reason, so I could sell that for some good cash, but most importantly, I want to get the magic armor. I want to give that to Orpheo there, uh, because, well, it's a little stronger, but most importantly, it uh, increases his, uh, it increases resistance to fire damage by 25%, so that's pretty good. I really like that for him. I'm also going to get one for Loto there. Because even though, I mean, look at his defense, it's going to have like 10 less defense than the armor of Gaia. But really, that only amounts to like 2.5 damage per hit less that, or more that he's going to take in exchange for 25% less damage from fire attacks. So I really like that. I think that's the way to go for Loto. So I'm going to, well, I'll just take care of that off screen. My inventory is really full, so... I'll just rearrange all that off screen. So I'm going to rest up at the end here, and by the time I wake up, I'll be at Tantacle. All right, we made it back here. Uh, one thing I want to show you about the end, kind of amusing. Yeah, the end costs six gold here. So, yeah, it's same as the first game. You know, I, I thought that was a nice little touch that they put there, nice reference to the first game. So, okay, let's talk to the king while we're here. I forgot to do that earlier. Okay, how's it going? Is Hargun gonna destroy us all? Oh. oh okay. Nuts. Ah, that wasn't very amusing at all. Okay, well that's everything we can do here, so let's go search for some more crests. By the way, the grinding that I did earlier, the level grinding, uh, that took me an hour to do all that. A solid hour. 62 minutes. I mean, I am not ki kidding you. It gets quite ridiculous later in the game, but... I'm trying to spread it out as best I can for you viewers, if you're following along. And also, that Firebane spell that I got for the Prince of Kanak, uh, this area is called the Lighthouse, by the way. Uh, the Firebane spell uh, deals a lot more damage in the Game Boy Color version. It's almost as good as Explode It. It's ridiculous, but it still costs 4 MP. And also, with the uh, Staff of Thunder there, I gave it to the Princess now, so that way... Uh, she can use it, because now Orpheo does have a multi-targeting spell. Let's walk around the perimeter of the tower. The enemies here are pretty much the same as they were at uh, the Dragonlord's castle. Maybe I should have come here earlier. But this area is fairly long, so you do want to have a lot of MP to uh, make it through this area. So, let's see, we go left, down. What's that area over there? Hmm. Whoa, holy crap, Gorgons! I showed them off earlier, but I didn't show off how to do, how to really deal with them. So let's do that this time. I want to use the defense spell. Uh, basically, because Gorgons have a lot of HP, 
or not a lot of HP, a lot of defense, you want to use the defense spell to reduce their defense. Unfortunately, they got Surround to hit on me, but fortunately, Surround blows, so I'm able to uh, otherwise deal with it. Uh, Gorgons are almost completely immune to fire, so don't even bother with it. It's totally not worth it. I mean, unless they can't hit you at all, then okay, fine, I guess. Um, maybe you should defend there and use the Staff of Thunder. Why not? Gwen has even more defense than Orpheo now. He is that sad. Holy cow. Ow. But yeah, watch out for Saber Tigers. Oh, not so bad after all. Oh, okay, there we are. But I do want to use a Heal More spell. Uh, usually I want Gwen to be using Heal More. Um, Orpheo should be just using his normal Heal spell if we're starting to get a little low on HP there. Well, let's see what's in here. And up here. Ah, oh, there we go. Got a treasure over here. Yeah, like most treasure chests in the game, not so useful. Holy crap, four demi ghosts! Oh man, I uh, put them to sleep! Uh, how did that not kill him? Oh, he was parrying, right. Woo! If he did not parry, he would be dead. Or pretty close to dead. D E D. Dead. Um, yeah, now let's go all out. Now that I've got enough of them asleep. If you've got, like, all of them except one put to sleep, you should be okay. Even if they don't, um, use a heroic attack, they can still, uh, what is it? They can still attack twice per round. It's ridiculous how, how much these guys can kill you. Um, so yeah, just put them to sleep. We should be good. I think that one's still asleep, so we should be good. And eh, just in case. Yeah, want to keep everyone to the max on their HP as much as possible. Woo! Man. That was a close call. Let's see. We don't want to go up those stairs. We want to go up these stairs first. If you like getting useless treasure, that is. Eh, whatever. Might as well show you where it all is. I could use the experience. And the enemies here do get pretty good experience. I usually don't like grinding in towers or caves, even if the experience is better, because um, they just don't... Uh, the encounter rate is... Look at it! It's not that great around here. You want to stay outside, even if there's a, a lower experience, simply because of the encounter rate. Okay, well, here we got a chain sickle, so... Now I want to backtrack to the first floor, and is that uh, crest around here? Let's check it out. Ha-ha! Yes, it is around here. Okay. Well, I'll just keep on searching around here to find whatever crest is around here. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.